Some people have wondered, you know, why would I make a video where I'm shitting all over a type of movie? Well, it, some of it is because, obviously, because Martin Scorsese was on the news. And I wanted to say, hey, I happen to agree with him on this. But another thing is just, I mean, people make videos all the time about movies they don't like. No, they don't like, I mean, look how anti-SJWs get their, their panties in a bind because a demographic has been changed from one of their, the characters they follow, right? Or the SJWs get all pissy because uh, they think that a movie is promoting the patriarchy or white supremacy or something, right? Oh, they're, they're promoting old values or whatever, right? People get pissy about that, you know? Um, one of my main issues right now with movies is what CGI has done to movie making. You know, what, the reliance on CGI. It, things used to be where if there was something too over the top to film or... I mean, too expensive to film, they would rely on what you don't see to make something foreboding. And I thought that was a much more effective way of making something foreboding or huge or over the top. You show the reactions of people. It's in what you don't see. It's more like reading a book, right? And when you read a book, your your mind has to create these this imagery. And that's the way movie making used to be. You know, you could have a, a pretty low budget and still have something that uh, invokes quite an emotion out of, out of a scenario. You do it through people, right? The new way is, no, no, don't do any of that anymore. Just show everything, you know? Show the scary monster. Show the... the uh, Thousands upon thousands of uh, people fighting. Um, you know, show the huge epic battle. Show everything. And it, it kind of it, it kind of cheapens those things because you know, there's nothing left to the imagination. And to me, the Marvel movies utilize that thing that kind of thing all the time. Now, this isn't to say that all, action-y kind of movies, new movies, take this route. They, they don't all take this route. I mean, there are movies like uh, the, the new Mad Max. There was a lot of CGI in, Mad, in the new Mad Max, but you wouldn't even have known it. Even some of the vehicles, there were some things in it that were added to, not full CGI, but CGI additions. Uh, uh, uh. And the reason why that worked so well is because, I mean, most of the backgrounds on that were of the desert. There's nothing over the top about and unrealistic about seeing a desert, you know? So it worked in that case. There's a number of other movies that CGI works well. I mean, when they use CGI for inanimate objects or for scenery, for, for a, a, a set, um, it can work out really well and you'd never know. When they when movies will continually utilize CGI in ways that, like, maybe right now it looks somewhat realistic, but in 10 years we're going to go, uh. The directors have sort of become just too reliant on, on the idea of showing everything. Um, so that's, that's one of my main complaints about, about a lot of modern movies. It'd be nice if they, if they started going back to some of the old ways, where it's in what you don't see that makes it more foreboding or m more intense, more emo have, an, have more of an emotional impact, right? I like a lot of types of movies. I mean, I like sci-fi, adventure, crime. I, 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 I mean, I even like shows like uh, NCIS. I like animated movies. I like mysteries. I like drama. I like philosophical movies that make me think. You know, an, a, an example of a movie that they, they utilized CGI really well and, and did amazing things was Inception. 
that movie was fantastic. You know, I like psychological thrillers. I like comedy and satire. I like a lot of types of movies. I like a lot of really cheesy movies. I like a number of B-movies. You know, low-budget, just total cheese. They're so bad that they're good, right? I like a lot of those. But I guess it disappoints me that the movies that they're spending the most money on and the movies that are making the most money in the box office are these Marvel films. And when those movies make more money, then it makes other movie makers want to do some of the same thing. You know, I, I don't like what's happened to Star Trek, you know? Now, I'm looking forward to the new series Picard. I'm really looking forward to that. But, uh, you know, I don't like the, the new Star Trek movies at all. They took what was a lot of philosophical uh, stuff and real sci-fi where, the, the you know... I mean, so much of Star Trek, there, there were so many episodes of, of, of the, in the series of Star Trek where the entire thing revolved around some sort of scientific anomaly. Some of them didn't even have any action in, in them at all. They got, you know, they got the J.J. Abrams treatment, and now it's, it's just another sci-fi action movie. You know, Star Trek used to be about humanity, and now it's, in, in the movies anyway, it's about action. I definitely don't like what happened to Star Wars. I mean, I watched the, the Force Awakens and kind of liked it. I didn't see it as necessary to kill off so many characters. When it comes to things like Doctor Who, you know, I prefer the older Doctor Whos. You know, when they didn't have much of a budget. I mean, some people may say they don't have that much of a budget now, but they certainly have a larger budget than they used to. But, you know, the, the old Doctor Who, they had to rely on, on things other than uh, things that cost a lot of money to make things interesting. And they did. They managed to do that. You know, I liked the BBC production of uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I loved it. Love it, I should say. Not, not, not past tense, because I still love it. I'm not a big fan of the, what was it, in 2005 was the, uh, uh, the movie redo of it. You know, I wasn't that much of a fan of it. I, I thought they, uh, was it 2000? No, it wasn't 2005. What year was that? When, when, did, when was that released? Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy movie release date. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It was, was 2005. In the okay. States. Was 2005. I mean there were so many plots that they just kind of crammed together, you know, to try to meet the 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 time length. And again, you know, so much of that was going for let's just show everything instead of leaving some things to the imagination. But I mean, some of my favorite movies, Death Becomes Her, Blade Runner, um, Falling Down. Oh, I love Falling Down. Love that movie. That, that movie was fantastic. I love Terry Gilliam's movies. I love Stanley Kubrick's movies. But I'm not a big fan of mindless, huge production Hollywood movies now. I'm, I'm not a big fan. And Marvel falls very squarely right into that. You know, Marvel movies. I'm probably going to watch Joker pretty soon. And Joker isn't a Marvel movie, and it's also not a giant action film either. And there's a lot of controversy behind it, and I want to see why. Instead of just going by other people's reviews. So, in fact, I might even see it tonight. We'll see. If, if I can find a showing that's late, so. Anyway, I guess I'm rambling long enough, so, uh, banana.